Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. People say to me, what is that behind there? That is the, the album cover of a, a, an album from 1970s, early 70s, called Brain Salad Surgery by my band, Emerson, Lake and Palmer. And nostalgia seems to be the thing now. I, I went on to uh, our sister streaming channel, uh, um, and, and had a look and I wanted to watch the Sweeney and but they were charging £2.45p an episode to download it. Well, bugger that, I'm not doing that. Friends uh, are uniting. I never was a great fan of that programme, Friends. I could see how popular it was. Uh, it was a bit of a chick flick for me, really. And, uh, but now someone has complained that they're having a reunion and there's not enough black people involved. It's absolute madness. Uh, there's no black people in the cast of Friends and there's no, um, and the guests are all these famous people and none of them happen to be black. So what? Oh, what a bad thing to say. Jim Davidson doesn't want any black people. No, we're all people. It doesn't matter what bloody colour you are. I always remember at the BBC when we did Big Break, the producer said we've got to have 7.62. I always remember that fraction because it was a calibre of a bullet. 7.62 ethnic minorities on the show, whether they want to be on it or not. So, you know, poor Bangladeshi man walking past, you know, Wood Lane and someone from the BBC would run out and grab him and drag him, drag him back in. I don't, I don't like snooker. You, you notice the Bangladeshi man had a Cockney accent there. Well, so that's what it is. So, Friends United. Well, well, there you go. It is time for nostalgia. Talking of nostalgia, um, if you want to look at Ustream, and I know a lot of people watching this on YouTube, You've got to realise that when I finish talking to you, there's another half an hour of this on Ustream. And if you don't want to pay the £3.99 plus VAT a month to watch it, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. It's a, but it's the only chance you're going to get to see me like uh, giving it both barrels. Uh, but you can go and have a look at Ustream because we have made our new TV channel for the veterans and serving soldiers. It's only just started, so there's a couple of bits on it and one really good film called That'll Do. Uh, you can go to www.ustream.com, right? Get onto the home page, and where is a little arrow? Scroll down. You can get the free channel. It's free to everybody. So that channel is going to be for information. Well, uh, so if someone's feeling a bit dodgy, they can get on there, and they'll know exactly who to phone. Ghostbusters! No, and, and it's also some some bits and pieces that uh, of, a, of a military nature that you might find interesting talking of a military nature this business in palestine uh, and uh, and israel is getting a bit sharp isn't it especially with the modern weapons and i would imagine that the israel have got some absolute cracking precision uh, weapons some are quite scary where the palestinians just seem to be whacking these rockets in i don't know how accurate they are or, or basically where they get from on the word around the campfire is that they're Iranian supplied but but it, I, it it's now overspilling we had guys in London yesterday uh, I don't know who they were but they were the cars were draped in Palestinian flags and they were driving through Manchester and driving through uh, London uh, shouting out really bad hateful things against the Jewish people well what's that got to do with Israel and uh, and Palestine that's a bit unfair so come on, you. you're you not just protesters, you are creating hate crime. And Richard Littlejohn summed it up. He said, how long before these uh, drive-bys are going to be drive-by shouting is going to be drive-by shooting? We've got to nip this, pretty. You've got to nip this in the bud straight away. And I don't think these protesters were your normal run-of-the-mill nutcase student people. No, these have got decent cars. There was a Range Rover. There was one of them Mercs there that Hitler used to drive around in, ironically. What's it called? A Sonic Wagon. You know, they're a hundred grand's worth of motor and they're shouting out the most horrendous situations. Okay, there was also some, um, there was also some Palestinian protests. There were protests outside the uh, Israeli embassy, protests outside Downing Street. And you can't help looking at the pictures that there's other people in there that want to protest. There's people in there, uh, BLM people I saw, that don't look as if they know where Palestine is. They probably think it's some clay that you make models out of. But um, they're all there. And of course, who's there in the thick of it? Corbyn. Well, there you go. So let's have none of this anti-Semitism. Anti I never quite understood what that means. So I'm just going to say racism. It's okay telling jokes. I'm a great believer that you should joke about everybody as long as everyone who's the butt of that joke is going to have a slight wince, aren't they? Because they're going to 
take it on the chin. But humour is humour. Driving through London, inciting uh, people to... I'm not even going to repeat it. It was, it was that horrendous. And it was on the, uh, on the time of a Jewish uh, celebration called Shavu. I probably got that word wrong. My Jewish mate told me I, all, all my life, a, a, a wig in Yiddish, I believe, is that the, the word, is ca called, uh, a, I thought it was a shaykel or a shaytel. Fuck, I kept getting it totally wrong, so I probably got that wrong as well. But it, it, I think this celebration is when Moses gave the Ten Commandments, uh, got the Ten Commandments from God. There's a joke about that, isn't there? Every Jewish person will know that. They'll say, he said to Moses, do you want some commandments? And Moses said, how much are they? And God said, they're free. He said, give us 10. Okay. And, and, and do you know why the French crossed the seven out? Because I think number seven in the in Ten Commandments is thou shalt not commit adultery. I love the French. Okay, we're going to nip over now to Ustream. If you've got nothing to do, please get on. Sign up, all right? Just go to the homepage where it says log on. You can buy a package. Just join for £3.99 plus that. You can have a month's worth of watching our shit. And when you're fed up, just leave. What else is there to do? You'll be fed up of being inside in the pub. So, okay, I'll go on and have a look at Cenotaph. See you later. Ah, hi folks, this is your Prime Minister. Never mind those boring briefings about COVID or, or Brexit. Fantastic question. One I don't know the answer to. If you go into a bank now without a mask on, the alarms go off. Whereas in the old days, if you went in with a mask, the uh, alarm would go off and the police would come in. Well, thank you for that question, asshole. I mean, Theresa May, was the sort of woman, or is the sort of woman, who would go into DFS, DFS, on a bank holiday Monday and come out having paid full price for a sofa. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so, so much. I mean, who'd have this job? Really? Everything's my fault, is it? It's my fault about the, the waspy women. I had nothing to do with it. I mean, what, how, 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 I don't even know. I we came out for a bag of bloody sugar, but I, I seem to get the blame for everything. I mean, it's just not fair.